everyone, it's Liani from Stampalate. I'm here to show you today how to make this sweet little Santa slider pocket card. All right, so it just slides up and down the card like that. Okay, so what you'll need is you'll need the Festival Tree stamp set. You'll need the Get Your Santa On for your presents, your Santa and your greetings. You'll need the Stars embossing folder a punch and some ribbon okay so to start off with you need your base card it's just an A5 card okay so it's 14.8 centimeters by 21 centimeters and you're going to score it at 10 centimeters and 20 centimeters okay so that becomes your card pocket okay we're not going to stick that up because we have a bit to do on that one there so we'll just get this piece here is nine and a half by fourteen and a half okay and that's going to go on the front of our card and we need to stick that down now so I'm just going to use because we've got the um, embossing on here I'm just going to use the Tombow to stick that down now we do need to place our little slit there, so you need to put your glue along the edge in the middle and up this side here. Okay, so. All the way up. You need to leave room for the punch at the top. down on there and just smooth it down hold it for about 10 seconds or so just for that glue to take effect because we need that to be dry to um, put our slit in in a bit okay so the other elements that we've got we've got the tree that's stamped in wild wasabi we've got our Santa okay he's stamped with the memento black ink and then I've colored him in with our cherry cobbler bendabilities and the um, I think it's the smoky slate there the darkest color all right I've also stamped out some little presents from our get your Santa on stamp set all right now I stamped them onto the um, the Sahara sand like I did this background so that when you pop this down it looks like it goes straight through if I'd stamp that onto the white the white would show up and there was no way I was going to cut between the little bows there so I've got four little gifts there okay I've got a banner here for Merry Little Wish which will go over there a little bit later right you need a scrap piece of whisper white and you'll see why you need that it just needs to be I think that's Three quarters of an inch and we can cut that down a little bit later for what we need and this is to go inside your card so this is nine and a half by 14.5 again okay in the whisper white so that's that so I've done that so far so now what we need to do is with our Stampin' Up trimmer you need to put a slit along here for your Santa to slide up and down and it needs to be in far enough so that he's not over the edge of your card all right so we're just going to slide him in and I'm going to slide him to the three inch mark to the three inch mark on my trimmer there and then I'm going to get my blade and I'm going to take it from the 29 or from it's what two and a half centimeters in go 
cut to two and a half centimeters from the bottom. I cut two and a half centimeters or an inch. Now you want to do this a couple of times so it cuts actually through your card. Okay. All right. Okay, so there you have what will become your solid. This will actually feed in through there and then your sand will get stuck on here in a little okay. bit. So once you've got your slit in there, what we need to do is we need to create a little tab part here using the punch. Okay, and I'm just going to eyeball the center of the card. Now what I'm going to do here is I've got these little pointers that are going out will be just at the top of the red part of my card. All right, and we're just going to punch that. I've rescued my pieces, so I just have to stick this piece onto the top. So I'll just pop that bit aside for now. Now this is our piece that's going to go on the inside of our card. What we need to do now is to, I'm just going to grab my Santa. And my dimensionals. going to attach him like that. So we want him about like there. So we're going, I'm going to just trim that off the excess. Okay, I'm going to get my fast fuse because I want this to stick down good and proper. Now when you use your fast fuse, Remember you've got to cut the tape when you use it or else it'll just keep pulling. Okay, so cut the tape. Alright, now, <coughs> this is the tricky part. Slide him in through there. Oh, I said it's a little bit over the edge. That's okay. It's all good. Okay, then place your white card on the inside, like so. Alright, and then what we are going to do is we're going to lay this down flat on top of the white card. So that will create Santa, like so. Very cute. Oh, bent his hand. Okay, so now we can close this. It's just going to be a little bit tricky. I'm going to use the Tombow, and I really, really, really. Oh, I'll just show it to you like this. I'm going to burnish that first. So it's got a nice. Just a thin line, you don't want too much because if it oozes out and gets onto your, your white card that you pull out, it's going to um, hold it in place and you don't want that to happen. So just a thin line card. So 
while well, that's waiting to dry you can pop this piece on with your Tombow okay, and you're just going to push your card down put that flat and pop that into the void there So that will all line up when your cards cards closed. Okay. So we'll stick our tree down, and again, I'm going to I'm using Tombow here because of the the texture from the stars. So the glue will just hold it on a little bit better. And you can maneuver it so you get your tree straight, unlike mine. There we go. Okay. Then what we need is our glue dots. Stick our prezzies down because it, it's just easier with the glue dots. Okay. So, and a tip with this: don't pull the glue dots off with your fingers because you're going to get the natural oils from your hands on there, and it's going to take away some of the adhesive. So you just pop your present down, like so, and that will lift the glue dot off. And then you're just going to stick them under the tree. And then what I'm going to do, with your edges on your um, dimensionals, you can use those. I've had customers wanting to throw away the sheet because it was finished, but it still had all the edges on there. And I went, no. So we don't throw those away. All right. And they're great for skinny things like presents. So just pop half. The dimensional behind one and we'll do a glue dot on this one still yellow present and these ones have just been colored in with the um the stamp and write markers i haven't used the um blendabilities on those that one can go there Take this one off here and pop that there. So we've got lots of presents under our Christmas tree. Okay, and while we're here, we'll grab a glue dot for our star. So I thought I'd put a star on the top of this tree. Okay, so that's that there. Now we're going to pull this up and we're going to grab a hole punch okay, and we'll just punch in the centre there. And we're going to feed our ribbons through that. Fold that over. The other one we didn't line them up. Okay. So once you get the ribbon coming through, all you need to do is just twist it around so the red's on the inside and the green. Like 
time. So we're going to grab a piece of our linen thread. We can straighten this up in a minute. It's just not cooperating at the moment. that okay, I'm going to do a double knot before I do my bow just keeps the, the ribbon tighter together so tighten that knot and then tighten that knot straight away When I do the tightening of my bows, put my finger over the knot and it just holds things in place. Okay, make it a bit tighter. Okay, and I want to snip off the excess of that. I'm going to straighten this up. Your, um, your twine down a little bit as well if you want to. Still really not cooperating. Okay, and then we'll just straighten up these ribbons. Okay, and then we'll just trim these off. Then, for your merry little wish, you can just put it down flat if you wish to. But with mine, I like to sort of give it like a bit of a curve and put it on like a banner. Okay, so what you need to do for that, you just want to curve in the middle, just softly with your bone folder, and curve in the opposite direction on your ends. So underneath in the middle, and on top at the two ends. Now we need to raise this a little bit higher. So what we're going to do is, we're going to put one dimensional down, pull the backing off, and then put another one over the top. Okay, so that will keep the, um, the height in the middle for you. Okay, and then on each end, you're going to pop on a glue dot push that in a little bit and then stick him down all right and then you've still got your little curve of your banner happening there then the last thing you need to do for this little card is just pull your Santa card up as far as it will go all right, and then we're just going to put a little briefing on the inside So just stamp that on there, okay, and there you have your finished Santa slider tag, uh, pocket card. Okay, so there's 
the one I've made today and this is the one I made the other day. Please feel free to um, email me or send me a message with any questions that you might have. And don't forget the written tutorial will be available on my blog today as well. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind. You'll find